Hello and welcome to our bit of African music or African beats rule. My name is Eddie Kavai and my guest today, she doesn't need any introduction to anyone. I mean, she's beautiful, she's stunning, she's done what every, every musician would want to do. Ladies and gentlemen, let me not waste your time. This is none other than... This week, we talk to Jamaica-American singer and songwriter Elaine. This Jamaican songbird was born in New Jersey and moved to Jamaica at the age of three. In 1998, she made her debut on TV when she appeared in a movie, Clara's Heart, alongside the legendary actor Whoopi Goldberg. Elaine worked as an investment banker at JP Morgan. In 2004, she quit her job and went back to Jamaica. This saw her produce hit songs such as No Ordinary Love and Bye Bye. She has four albums under her belt, No Ordinary Love, Sacrifice, Without You, and her latest release, Ten of Hearts. Her first performance on African soil was in Kenya in 2007. Since then, she fell in love with the country. This is no, this is no ordinary in 2014, she was a guest on the popular comedy talk show Churchill Live in Kenya, and here is where the hit song Wafula was conceived. Come here, my sugar daddy. Give me a sugar rush. You got me on a sugar high. With a sweet, silky voice, incredible vocal range, and vivacious personality to boot, it's no wonder that Elaine keeps stealing hearts across the globe. Sweet to your belly. Well, you can be my queen bee. I'll be your honey. Well, oh, oh, hot cocoa. <laughs> Hi Eddie, thanks for having me. I'm good, how are you? I'm so good. How have you been? I've been well. I've been in Africa, so I've been great. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when I came here yeah. to do the interview with you, I was told, Elaine, she's in Dar es Salaam. Yes. I almost fainted. Why, Eddie, why? <laughs> why? I thought you would make it here. No, of course. I, you know, I actually came here first and then flew to Dar es Salaam afterwards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... We've been busy, but it's been great, <laughs> and I'm always happy to be in East Africa. Yeah, so, all is well. I mean, yeah. I mean, you're gorgeous. You, you're Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. I mean, how do you maintain this? What's the secret? I keep looking for waffle, <laughs> and it keeps me going. You know. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm a vegetarian. I don't know if that that makes any difference to mm -hmm. some other people because meat is wonderful mm -hmm. uh, but not for me uh, <laughs> so big up all the chicken eaters and all the people that love pork and all of these things yeah. but i'm a you know beans girl and, and a vegetable girl and i work out you know i try to work out as much as possible so mm. yeah and i drink lots of water and try to pray a lot and when i forget to pray god forgives me and i pray again when i remember and yeah i have good friends and love my family and surround myself with happiness and i think that makes so much of a difference, you know. It, it keeps you, it keeps you lighter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just so you know, my other name is Wafula. It is. See, I've been <laughs> looking for him. I've been, dude. Have you not seen me looking for you? I've been like text everything. <laughs> well, where That's have you been? Here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's get married and all that stuff. Cause yeah. Okay. When? When are we? Today. <laughs> now is the only time we have. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> at this time, I want you to introduce one of your favorite music video okay I uh, think I'm gonna go since we're on the theme mm -hmm. of Wafula mm -hmm. uh, here's the where do I look hello you're going to see my brand new video featuring Churchill who is not a singer but I'm gonna make him one if it's the last thing I do here's Wafula you see us going through Kakamega and searching for the elusive Wafula I hope you find him tune in see what happens Wafula Where are you, my dream lover? Where you there? I'm looking. 
Wafula by Elaine and Churchill. What is Churchill doing in that? I don't know. He won't leave me alone. <laughs> I met him two years ago and he just keeps saying, I'm going to help you find Wafula. Um, I, was, I was here for a show uh, mm -hmm. in 2014 and I did an interview with Churchill. Mm -hmm. And um, he wanted me to freestyle. Do you, you know, we can do a freestyle on Wafula. Wafula. And he said, freestyle about, I don't know, Wafula. So I said, what is a Wafula? <laughs> what is that? And he told me that it's a, a, someone from the Luya tribe mm. uh, who likes ugali and, oh, yeah. and greens and chicken. <laughs> so I said, OK. And the band struck up some cars and I said, Wafula, Wafula, Wafula. And it became a thing. Wafula, Wafula, Wafula. Wafula, 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 everybody wafula, 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 yeah, wafula, 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 we will talk about the album, which I have it right, right here, by the way. So, uh, <laughs> what inspires your kind of music, Alex? My life. You're my favorite boy. You bring such joy to my world. I sing about things I feel, and I think I always will because that's how that's the only way I can be real, you know. Uh, music is everything to me, and and I always grew up putting my feelings in songs. Um, I remember when I was about eight or something, my parents quarrelled, and I was yeah. so depressed over the quarrel. And it was nothing; it was probably like you forgot to buy chicken or something. It wasn't a big deal. Yeah. And um, I went to my piano and I started singing, "If you don't know me by now," <laughs> and it, it, I was so dramatic and it was just so unnecessary. <laughs> and then I started writing songs from yeah. then you know uh, about how I felt if I if I was uh, happy hungry you know <laughs> whatever it was I'd express it yeah. um, and, and so you know as, I, as I've, I've grown into a woman um, you know love in all aspects of, 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 of the word love whether it's love between a man and a woman whether it's love with for my fellow uh, humans that I share the earth with or whether it's my love for the Creator um, I, I talk about this in different forms so I'll write songs like bye 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 when I want yeah. to cheer up you know when I say ah no troubles not now worry mm. me you know and I'll write songs like waffle when I want to laugh <laughs> and, and and you know um, uh, no ordinary love and sacrifice and, and nakupenda pia uh, to just fully just tell you how I'm feeling where I am you know what I felt what my friends have felt life inspires me so uh, I'll see billboards and I'll get ideas for songs or I'll watch the news and I'll write songs based on that, you know, so yeah, everything inspires me. My music comes from my heart and my soul. Which African country was your first one to visit? First was Kenya. Ooh. Yeah! And what a visit, what an introduction, um, so incredible, so much love. I remember after I did the first show, I, you know, it was uh, thousands of people, I think mm -hmm. it was uh, 9,000 people. Sepetuka. Mm. Yes. Sepetuka, now penda. Oh, oh, my heart's racing. Caught up in the love we're making. Oh, baby, oh, skin on my skin. Oh, it's so good, I feel like crying. This is no, this is no. Um, I went into the hotel, my hotel room, closed the door, screamed on top of my voice and jumped on the bed for about five minutes straight, you know. I, I, it was just so much. It was like a big hug. Thousands of people hugging me all at once, you know. This is my dream. I used to be an investment banker and, yeah. and I remember being so depressed every day at work, you know, not feeling joy because I wasn't living my purpose. and being embraced by my brothers and sisters from so far away after taking the leap of faith to quit. And seeing you sing along with me, it's the biggest deal to me, you know, yeah. it's, it's, uh, it's just a big blessing. Did you expect such a warm reception, in that? especially in Kenya? Did you even know people know your song? No, I mean, G Money told me because G yeah. was the one that booked that show and, and he's like, Alain, they love your music. I said, really? Yeah. You know, but I didn't, I didn't know the extent of it. Mm -hmm. And it was just, oh, just tears, you know, as, as just okay i'm doing the right thing and, and and you know god is faithful and 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 it's working out and you know just uh thank yeah. you mm -hmm. Asante sana. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna take a short break when we come back yeah. i want to know how did you find why or how did why find you okay kind of right? similar to the searching for waffle or searching for wiring <laughs>
We're searching. Hey, this is your favorite girl, Alain, and you're watching Upbeat with my favorite boy, Eddie Cavalli. You're my favorite boy. You bring such joy to my world. Stay tuned. Boom. Nothing with nothing without you, no, 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 nothing without you, no, 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 no. I'm raising my hands, nodding my head, now I, Ja is so good to me, and I wave to the right, wave to the left, now I, Ja is so good to me, and I scream out, yeah, yeah, scream out, yeah, there is no doubt, yeah, yeah, Ja is so good to me. Welcome back to Abit, and of course, I'm still with Elaine here. So, Nakupenda Pia was it was an instant hit, yeah? yeah, and everybody loved it. But if we talk about Nakupenda, how did Wairi find you? Wairi found me after I performed at Sepetuka. Mm. He reached out to me through my management and um, said he was interested in doing a song with me. Mm. So I'm always open to, to working with different. Did you believe he could sing? I didn't know him, but then I listened to his music and yeah. I liked it. Um, yeah. And um, he sent the track, and I loved it. Uh, he sent the track with his part, and I said, "Okay, so what am I going to say? Do I know? Should I sing in Swahili? Yeah. What do I know in Swahili? Ah, oh, Nakupenda Pia. Okay. So then I started Nakupenda Pia Pia. <laughs> I remember exactly where I was in my house when I started writing it and I was dancing around and singing it and I was hoping that he would like it so I recorded it, sent it back to him, he went crazy and the rest is history. I mean, you sing the Swahili part as if yes. you're from East Africa. <laughs> For real? Well, good. Yeah. I should I move mean, here. I've, I've, I've been told I need to get um, Kenyan citizenship. You should, you should so. We could arrange for that. Okay. Good. Hence the whole search for Wafula. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all time, but everything is not really about Wafula. <laughs> yeah. So how long did it take you to, to, to learn Swahili? Uh, well, not. I don't know. I only know a few words in Swahili. A kidogo, right? Yeah. Um, and, and so I'm still learning. Yeah. But I, I know some words, you know, like uh, chakula, is that right? Yeah, that's food. Food, yeah. right. And I don't eat cuckoo. So you don't eat chicken? Right. And that's all, <laughs> which will help me with food, which is good because I should never be hungry. Yeah. We shouldn't be hungry. Mm -hmm. yes, so. At the age of 10, mm. you managed to, to uh, act with the uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Goldberg. Yes. How was it? I mean, that she, was amazing. She, she's a legend. She is, she is. And I met her and she told me I look like her daughter. And that was the biggest deal to me because I was like, what do you mean? And then I looked on, as when I grew up, I looked and I don't look like her daughter, but that's okay <laughs> because she said it to me. I, rem I remember going to an, in uh, an audition with like over 3,000 girls and I got the part and it was, it was, oh, it was the biggest deal to me. And um, just meeting her and being in the movie and going to the movies with my parents. When the movie came out, I remember sitting on the bonnet of my father's car and watching myself on the big screen <laughs> and it, I was just like that's me and then How I went it, feel? it felt amazing yeah. you know and then I went home and went to school the next morning you know it was just business as usual back to reality but it was great I mean so being a Jamaican you know and we have, we have people we have, we have artists who do raga reggae yes I know this, this reading which is your favorite genre? Wow, that's hard. I'm a musician, you know. Um, 
uh, more than being a reggae musician or any other type of musician, I love music. Of course, reggae is my heartbeat because I grew up listening to reggae music. Uh, my cousin is Dennis Brown, um, mm. so you know it's in my family blood. Uh, but I, I love R&B, I love uh, pop music, uh, a little bit of alternative jazz, yeah. neo soul. So reggae is, of course, the bass, but then all of these other types of music uh, combine to make just my love affair that much more intricate and deep. But I love, I love music. I'm a lover of music. Awesome. Yeah. I don't know about you, yeah? but when I was growing up, yeah. I could not go to my parents uh -huh. and tell them, Mom, Dad, I want to be a musician. Oh. I mean, it was not oh, even the vocabulary. Oh, poor baby. That's what I did. <laughs> and, I, and they said that's so great. And I know that's yes. not the norm. But, you know, of course, I, I did my degree before and I was working um, for, for four and a half years before I decided to do it full time. And my parents said, sure, you know, dream on. We, so, we will support you um, wholeheartedly. Um, I had my savings because, of course, I had been working for a little while. So it's not like I, I, I jumped without having that security blanket. But they really have been very supportive. Ever since I was a little girl, I was always singing, always encouraged to act in plays and, and to be to be expressive, to be loud, you know. And and so yeah, I know it's not the norm, but my parents are definitely definitely yeah, supportive. supportive. Yeah. What did you do in school? I studied uh, management and psychology. Yeah. Why leave that career to music? Because I don't love it. I did it because yeah, you go and you get your degree and you get your job and you get your you know your typical boring life. And it's not boring to everyone, but to me, you know, it didn't do it for me. And you have to live. Yeah. I remember I talk about it all the time. I had the Sunday night blues every Sunday as as the sun started to set. I said, Oh my gosh, I have to go to work and I hate it. I don't want to do that, you know. And so I just decided in 2004 to take a leap of faith. It, it, it was necessary because you have to try something, you have to dream, you know, and, and like I always say, God has been faithful and it's not been an easy road by any stretch of the imagination. It is very much an uphill climb, but I believe in climbing because I know it builds my muscles and so I will stay focused despite potholes or sometimes I'm not feeling really up to it. I know it's what I want to do, you know, and so therefore I'll keep doing it. Yeah. 10, 15 years ago, if someone could have told you a lady would be this huge today, would have believed it? <laughs> don't answer that. All right. We'll answer that after the break. Right? Ask Wafula. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Wafula, Wafula, Wafula. Wafula, Wafula, Wafula. Wafula, Wafula, Wafula. Wafula. So alone for so long, need somebody to call my own, my baby, my one and only. Oh, feel me lover, yeah, feel me king. I'm looking everywhere for him, yeah. He's got to be somewhere waiting for me. Tell me, Eddie, when that, when that, where are you, my dream lover? When you're there, I'm looking for you, need to find Find my waffle. Yeah! Awesome. awesome. <laughs> Thank you. So I asked you before the break, 15 years ago, if someone could have asked you, told you that you would be this huge, you would have believed that. Wow. I'm still striving to be so much more. Mm -hmm. Um, but I give thanks. I give thanks for everything. Eddie, I give thanks for waking up every morning. That's the biggest deal to me. So, so yes, my music uh, being embraced the way it has been is such a blessing. And I'm so grateful. And I dream. And, 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 and sometimes I live my dreams. And other times I keep striving towards reaching them. But I'm grateful every step of the way. You know, I'm just so thankful that's where I am and I believe that the more grateful you are the more things will come into your life to make you grateful you know so yeah, yeah it's a that's cycle. Cycle. <laughs> yeah you did the cover to Adele's hello song and oh my wow it was amazing thank you hello it's me I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to meet to go over everything they say that time's supposed to heal you but I ain't done much healing hello be 
very collaborative effort uh, between myself and Shane Brown who is also my manager. Uh, it was produced by Shane and, uh, and uh, Dean Fraser and these are giants in the music industry in Jamaica you know um, and I was nervous about doing it um, uh, but because it's such a big song and Adele is such a such, oh she's so incredible you know uh, we went into the studio with some incredible musicians and it just was magical and people have embraced it's it. So natural. You thank know, it doesn't you. look like you're struggling. Thank you. It was it was difficult. <laughs> <laughs> it was difficult. It was a challenge, trust me. I had yeah. to dig deep, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but but I give thanks for the finished product. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you for liking it and thank you for yeah. singing along. Awesome. Yeah. So there's a there's a new album, huh? Yes. Ten of Hearts. Ten of Hearts. Yes. Yeah. I see very, very amazing collabs here. Yes, thank you. What are you expecting? Uh, well, uh, thankful that Billboard recognized it as one of the 10 best reggae albums uh, last year. Uh, we've just gotten the chance to come over here to launch it here. Um, favorite boys on there, Don't Walk Away, collaboration yeah. with Jay Boog. Uh, yeah. Taurus Riley is on there with me with Sugar Love. Of course, yeah. Waffle is on there because <laughs> Waffle is everywhere. Um, um, and so many other songs that I think just show where I am in mm. my life. It's called Ten of Hearts and the number 10 is a complete number. It's a number of new beginnings. Mm. And that's what the album is all about, you know. Um, all types of love. I talk about love, like I said, between man and woman. Uh, a song that I really love is called Sidewalk Hotel where I talk about a homeless man that I saw on the road. Mm. One day I was driving to the gym, I saw him and he was sleeping on the sidewalk. So I said, ah, you're in your sidewalk hotel, wrote the song. It means a lot to me, you know. So everybody get the album, please uh, support and uh, sing along. It's, it's nice. It's full of love. Where can they get the album? Online. iTunes, uh, iTunes yeah. Mm -hmm. yep, yep, yep. And across all the platforms. So, yeah. Click does purchase. Bye. <laughs> Alain, does music pay? I mean, I met a lot of artists, especially African artists. Most of them are complaining, man, oh. saying that they're not actually reaping uh, out much out of, out of music. Yeah. Shooting a video will cost them about what, $5,000, mm -hmm. which is too much for them. I don't yeah. know about you. Is it paying on your side? It's paying. Um, do I want it to pay more? Yes. Should you always strive for more in whatever you do? Yes. Um, but there are other things, you know, um, that, that I think artists need to get involved with. They have to recognize the power of their brand. And therefore, you expand. You know, um, you're not only a singer; you're a brand. So sell something to people. You know? <laughs> I'm also a television uh, personality in Jamaica, uh, so I do that as well. And I'm looking into to expanding just the brand, Alain. And that's what I think everybody should do as creative people. We're not one-sided, you know. And you work and you work. There are times, there are, there are seasons for everything, and um, so sometimes you have slumps. And, and probably that's what you're talking about with artists who said they're not making money. You just have to work until you start making money. And, and don't be dissuaded and don't stop. If it's your passion, do it. Yeah. What are some of the challenges you faced during your, your whole career? My biggest challenge is me being afraid. And I think, I think that, that, that fear is, is, is people's biggest challenge because it yeah. stops you when there's really nothing there. Um, you know, being a woman in the industry is always very challenging um, it's as talking to one of my sisters in music yesterday and she was saying the same thing and um, but you just have to believe in yourself and stand up you know good posture sing your music you know believe and and, and just keep working um, so yeah it's getting past the fear of of, of of the criticism of, of all the eyes on you, you know, because you're a human being and sometimes people say really mean things, uh, but, but it's okay because they're looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the intention, right? Yeah. Uh, for, for the music to be heard. And, and yeah, so that's, a, and, and I don't focus on problems. I focus on, on solutions. 
And so my solution to any of those things is to keep moving forward, you know? Yeah. No, just out of curiosity, yeah? yeah. Are you married? Are you seeing someone? I'm not. I'm single and I'm looking for, maybe not Wafula. <laughs> he might be George. I don't know. <laughs> but, but I'm a single woman. Yeah. Yes, yeah. A lot of young artists I know they're watching right now and they want to be like a lady, even better. Yes. What advice would you tell them? I would say believe in yourself, uh, practice, practice, practice. Surround yourself with people who believe in your talent as well, that are willing to move forward with you. Um, uh, don't believe the word, word no, it's a lie. Yeah. Uh, what is your truth? Your truth is that you're meant for greater things and therefore the way you walk and the way you talk should express this. You know, nobody should guess what you're about. You're a singer, they should see it when you walk into the room. You don't even have to sing a note. So you live your life with confidence and, and that's how you move forward because it doesn't matter what anyone says, it matters what you say. You know, who do I say I am? That's who I am. Yeah. And then people will believe you. You will convince them. You know. <laughs> but any anyway, if you are, uh, you know, flip flopping and you're not sure, then people will be like, ah, oh, whatever. You know. So yeah, believe in yourself. So confidence. Is yeah, man. Very shoulders good. back, chest forward. <laughs> Sing out. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming to the show, Elaine. I'm really, really grateful. We are all grateful. Thank you. I, hope, as am I. I wish we had the whole time to just talk, talk, yeah. and talk and talk. And once again, the album is out. Ten of Hearts. Ten of Get Hearts. it. Yes. Yeah. And you said iTunes, yeah? iTunes, yes, it's on iTunes. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, so you. much. And as Elena said, be confident. From me, Eddie Kavai and the entire B team, till next week, say. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Can't conquer I. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. No, not this time. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. Sing a happy song. Thank you for catching the beat on Upbeat. Let us know what you think of today's featured artist or who you'd like to see on the future episodes. Talk to us on Twitter, check out our Facebook page, and you can also contact us using the email address on your screen. So when them come with their negativity, wave my hands in the air and say bye-bye, 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 now we're in our side, bye-bye, 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 can't conquer Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. No, not this time. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. bye. Nothing, nothing, nah, nah, worry we know. Nothing, nothing can can bother with soul. Nothing, nothing, nah, nah, worry we know. No, nothing, nothing, nah, nah.